Welcome back to another episode of Quick and Easy, a series on the EasyMed channel where medical topics are discussed in a couple minutes. And today we're going to be talking about Salter Harris fractures, and you're going to be given an easy way to remember the different types using the mnemonic Salter. The Salter Harris classification system is used to describe different injuries to the growth plate, and there are five different types. The easy way to remember each type is to use the mnemonic Salter, which is really nice because it uses the name. So we're going to talk about each of these independently, but S stands for straight across the physis or growth plate, A stands for above, L stands for lower, T stands for through, and R stands for ruined or crushed. When using the mnemonic Salter to remember the different Salter Harris fractures, the orientation to remember is that the metaphysis will be superior to the growth plate or the physis, and the epiphysis will be below that growth plate. A type 1 Salter Harris fracture is a fracture that goes straight across the growth plate. And the way to remember this is using the letter S for straight across. It has an excellent prognosis and treatment is usually non-operative. A type 2 Salter Harris fracture is a fracture that travels through the growth plate and up into the metaphysis. So the way to remember this is to use the second letter of Salter, which is A, and A stands for above the physis. Prognosis is excellent and treatment is usually non-operative. A type 3 Salter Harris fracture is a fracture that travels through the growth plate and down into the epiphysis. So the way to remember this is to use the third letter of Salter, which is L, and that'll help you remember lower or below the physis. These fractures can potentially be unstable, especially if the joint space is involved, and operative management is sometimes necessary. A type 4 Salter Harris fracture is a fracture that travels through the metaphysis, through the physis, and through the epiphysis. So the way to remember this is to use the fourth letter of Salter, which is T, and that will help you remember through the physis. These fractures are unstable and they can potentially lead to limb length discrepancies, so operative management should be considered. A type five Salter Harris fracture is a crush injury to the physis, and the way to remember this is to use the letter R in Salter. This will help you remember ruined or crushed. Similar to a type 4 Salter Harris fracture, these fractures can be unstable and lead to limb length discrepancies, and so operative management should be considered. Hopefully this gave you an easy way to remember the different types of Salter Harris fractures. If you found the video content useful, please consider subscribing to the EasyMed channel so you can catch future videos that make medical topics easy. The EasyMed blog that corresponds with this video will be linked below in the description. Feel free to check it out if you want additional information on Salter Harris fractures. If you're interested in other quick and easy videos, make sure to check out the EasyMed YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and hope you catch future videos.